In this intriguing clip, we are presented with a unique scenario that challenges our usual skepticism towards opening the door for random strangers. Two individuals approach a house claiming that their iPhone was tracked to the premises, presenting what appears to be convincing evidence. The homeowners, cautiously intrigued, allow them entry to search for the missing device. However, as time passes, it becomes evident that the phone is nowhere to be found, raising questions about the true intentions of these individuals. This thought-provoking incident serves as a reminder that even in seemingly genuine situations, it's important to exercise caution and remain vigilant. Oh. Hey, you got a iPhone X10? Huh? A iPhone 10? No, I, I dropped it at the salon last night. And the location is showing here. This here? Yeah, the location is showing here. At this house. Uh, let me ask real quick. Hold on, let me grab Tommy. Hold up. I don't know, Tommy. I don't want Sadly, this clip ends on a cliffhanger and we never know whether the individual managed to retrieve his phone or not. What do you guys think of this situation? Leave your comments down below. In this perplexing clip, we are confronted with an unsettling scene as a random man approaches a house in the middle of the night and attempts to open the door. His behavior is peculiar, as he mumbles incoherently, seemingly disconnected from reality. The homeowner, startled by this bizarre encounter, wisely keeps the door securely locked. The intentions and motivations behind this man's actions remain unclear, leaving us to ponder the mysterious nature of this incident. Fuck, I see Who's your favorite? Nigga, me can't say, Yadi. That nigga my fucking brother. No. In this eye-opening clip, we are reminded of the importance of car security. As the footage unfolds, we witness a disturbing incident where a man is caught on camera looking through a door, seemingly assessing the situation. 
Seizing the opportunity, he swiftly approaches an unlocked car and brazenly steals valuable items from inside. In this unexpected clip, we witness a perplexing incident involving two kids in front of a house. As the footage unfolds, we observe one of the kids becoming increasingly agitated, eventually resorting to stealing a scooter from the premises. The motive behind this impulsive act remains unclear, leaving us with more questions than answers. We can't answer the door right now, but if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. In this alarming clip, we witness the audacious act of a porch pirate snatching an unattended package from the front of a house under the cover of darkness. The thief's identity and motive remain unknown, leaving us to ponder why individuals engage in such brazen acts of theft. In this unsettling clip, we witness a disturbing act as a man targets a house in the middle of the night and brazenly steals a chair that was left outside. The motive behind such an act remains unclear, leaving us to question the intentions of individuals who engage in such audacious thefts. It serves as a stark reminder to be cautious and take necessary precautions to secure our belongings, even seemingly ordinary items. In this intriguing clip, we witness a woman acting strangely in front of a home security camera. At first glance, her behavior may appear eerie and unsettling. However, upon further investigation, it is revealed that the woman is actually the neighbor of the homeowner who recently installed new cameras. Her intention behind the peculiar behavior was simply to playfully scare or surprise the homeowner. While the initial impression may have sparked curiosity and even fear, it is a reminder that not everything is as it seems. In this alarming clip, we witness a shocking incident as a random woman approaches a house in the middle of the night with the intention of stealing a dog. The footage captures her attempting to snatch the furry companion left unattended outside the house. The homeowner's security measures proved effective in deterring the theft, as the woman's actions were caught on camera. This serves as a reminder to always prioritize the safety and security of our beloved pets, ensuring they are properly supervised and protected.
In this heartwarming clip, we witness a playful homeowner engaging in a delightful interaction with his dogs. Initially, it may seem like an intruder attempting to enter a home, but as the footage progresses, it becomes clear that it's just the homeowner imitating the behavior of his furry companions. The dogs playfully observe their human counterpart, creating a fun and lighthearted moment. In this next clip, we witness a peculiar encounter as a woman approaches a house in the middle of the night. Instead of displaying suspicious behavior, she surprises us by showering compliments on the homeowner's dog. While the timing may seem unusual, it appears that the woman's intention was simply to express admiration for the furry companion. Perhaps she couldn't resist the urge to appreciate the charm and loyalty of the canine friend, regardless of the late hour. I'm Amber. I, I just wanted to tell you, your dog is cute, but it's cool, and I've never been more busy in my life. Okay. okay. In this cautionary clip, we witness the consequences of excessive drinking. As the footage unfolds, we observe an individual who appears to be heavily intoxicated, stumbling out of a property and eventually falling into nearby bushes. This serves as a reminder of the potential dangers and risks associated with alcohol consumption. It's important to drink responsibly and take care of our well-being. In this clip, we observe an elderly lady approaching her neighbor's house and engaging in an animated and seemingly angry conversation. While it is challenging to determine the exact circumstances, it is possible that the elderly lady could be experiencing a health issue or facing some personal challenges. It's important to approach such situations with empathy and understanding. Go away. I will when you open the door, please. No, go away. Please leave our house. Well, you know what? You better stop this, Megan, because you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Stop what? Nobody's doing anything. Oh, my gosh. What kind of... No, what are Megan. You talking about? Megan. You better stop talking to me. I could be your mother. And I you better asked stop. you to not slam the door. You are not my mother. Nobody slams the door on you. You're pathetic and you're a All sick I said person. Was stop slamming you the are door. a sick person. I'm sorry. No, Nick, you, you know need what? To go away. I, I have a right to say what I would, would like to say. And you are in a That's lot of trouble. You are going to be in a lot of trouble. You're sick. You are a sick person. You are That's a sick person. Us. And I'm so sorry for your husband and your children. That's I'm all I have to say. To the HOA. But don't you dare say. I don't. What? I'm sending this to I the don't HOA. Care. Please what? stop. I've asked you to leave my door. You don't belong up here. Oh, heaven to Betsy. You know what? You are sick. And don't you ever tell me that I'm an a, a effing cunt. Don't you dare say that. 
You're you, acting like one brat. right now. No, you're a brat. And what Why kind are of you up here screaming at my door? I'm okay. trying to watch TV with my family. Okay, then go ahead. Are you drunk? And like I said, don't you dare t me. No, I don't think so. You're up at my door acting crazy. Don't you ever taunt me again. Don't you dare tell me that I'm an effing cunt. What? You understand me? You're acting like one right now. I haven't called you a cunt today, oh, heck. you are acting like a now, cunt. You are sick. Get away from my door. I am. Hi. This is harassment. Oh my God! It's harassment. You don't belong on the third floor. You have no friends up here. There's no reason for you to be up here. You have no business up here. You have z no business. Please just leave us alone. Yes, but you, she's sick. She is a charity and a ill person. I know, I know. But I'm angry. Please leave. Look at, look at I'm sick. Look and see the device that she's got on her front door. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Please get away yeah. from my door. Oh, heck. You know, just go to heck. Why are you up here yelling? I'm not yelling. It's not like you. I asked you to not knock on my door and to stay away from the third floor. You have no business up here. The HOA has asked you several times not to come up here. Oh, oh, no, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, no, Debbie, come on. I'm right, I'm no, right ahead. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my Oh, my Oh, In this clip, we witness a disturbing act unfold at the front of a house. A masked man approaches a property under the cover of darkness, his intentions shrouded in mystery. With calculated steps, he proceeds to break a pride sign that he's carrying in his hands. The destruction of the sign raises questions about the motive behind this act. Was it an act of intolerance or a deliberate attempt to incite fear and distress? The significance of the pride sign and the symbolism it represents amplifies the impact of this incident. In this intriguing clip, we observe a perplexing situation as a random man approaches a house with uncertain intentions. His behavior raises questions about his state of mind, as he displays signs of intoxication or influence from substances. With unsteady steps and disoriented movements, the man attempts to enter a house that clearly does not belong to him. His actions, seemingly fueled by altered consciousness, create a sense of unease and confusion. In this puzzling clip, we are confronted with a perplexing situation involving two individuals who appear to be under the influence of substances. Their erratic behavior and incoherent rambling center around a mistaken belief that the homeowner's daughter has possession of their car. Despite the homeowner's repeated attempts to clarify the misunderstanding and assert that they have the wrong address, the intoxicated men persist in their delusion. Their slurred speech, disoriented movements, and apparent confusion indicate a state of altered consciousness. It is evident that their impaired judgment and impaired cognitive function are influencing their distorted perception of reality. Hey, your daughter got my car. See your daughter bring her my car, man. Come on. Hello, can I help you? Hey, yeah, uh, your, your daughter, uh, uh, she got, uh, my homeboy's car. She got my homeboy's car. It's my car. I need my car back. Uh, 
you're Who's that? Uh, my daughter. Um, I think you're at the wrong look, address. I'm very wrong. They already told me that she has my car. Just tell her to come here, give us our car, and everything will be alright. I'm sorry that that's her boyfriend. He went to jail. She got our In this clip, we witness the amusing and slightly chaotic moments when two men, one notably more intoxicated than the other, attempt to enter their shared house. The comedic dynamic between the two individuals becomes evident as the less intoxicated man tries to assist his heavily inebriated companion. In the first instance, the more drunk man struggles to maintain his balance, stumbling and fumbling with the keys as he attempts to unlock the door. His movements are unsteady and his speech slurred, showcasing the effects of his intoxication. The second man, though also under the influence, appears more coherent and tries to guide and support his friend through the process. In this amusing clip, we find ourselves witnessing a comical case of mistaken identity. A man, seemingly lost, approaches a house with the intention of entering. However, as the homeowner approaches the door, the man's facial expression quickly changes, and he realizes his error. It becomes evident that he has targeted the wrong house entirely. This is not the right house. Holy shit. God damn it. Sorry, man, wrong house. You know, sorry. What? I'm going to go over here. Carlos, sorry, man. Oh. You know, so sorry, dude.